it's a real audit, you guys. It's a real audit. Work in teams when it's the right thing to do. We have Sweetie. Rocky, Colorado, yes. and behind me, and SoCo audits. SoCo audits. Yeah, I'm buffering too. We'll get in there, be okay. Will we? All right, guys. That's my audits. Hey, everybody. We are at the Monument Library for this ongoing saga of them threatening to trespass people. So, I'll be quiet. I'm here to uh, utilize the library, and we will start first with the public restroom. Pikes Peak Library District, Monument, Colorado. Oh, oh it feels good in here. Oh, very nice. Regan Benson. <sighs> Food and drink in the library. Can you tell me where your restroom is? Uh huh. Oh, thank you. Are you back on? No, are you? I'm full. Nice. What's your carrier? T Mobile. So am I. Mine's AT&T. There it goes. I think we're back finally. I'm gonna use the restroom. Okay. You want me to hold yours? If you if you want to. Yeah. I got it. situated here guys okay I think we're back so I have a uh, Regan's live stream and I'm back on with my live stream guys so thanks for coming in so we are here again guys and we uh, thank you to accountability for all who did the legwork for us uh, we are absolutely allowed to record in everything we can see in here so that's why we're back um, let some more people get in before we start uh, getting full into it. Yeah, sorry about that, Jim Fuller. It's better now. Good. Yeah, it's just I lost it when, before we came in. So let's go ahead and walk around a little bit, guys. So, so far, the employees have not come out to speak with us whatsoever. So, here's Regan. I'm going to look for uh, George Orwell's 1984 and maybe do story time with my viewers. So, I'm going to attempt to uh, hmm? use the uh, card catalog system. And you're going to graduating high school in um, 1991. <laughs> so where's the card catalog system? Is this it? Okay. Let's look for... George Orwell. 1984 search oh look there's a sound recording there's George Orwell's animal farm three holds zero available 
So that's why we're just going to stay hanging out. The 1984 sound recording by George Orwell. Zero available. Zero holds. So they do not have uh, George Orwell's 1984. Oh, he's trying to say that they're First Amendment auditors to hide your children and stuff. Yeah, he just went over here and told this woman to hide her children because we're exercising our rights. But anyway, so uh, she's right, not in so a big hurry, but... We have some people in here so far. Uh, but they're, they are going so the librarian is running so off the uh, to, uh, patrons. That were, that were suspended from the library. The guy 1984, time. the novel by George Orwell, zero available, 14 holds. But, so uh, Isn't this interesting? Uh, so we have a uh, criminal for support of police in Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, where there's a well, that's sad. She's telling her kids they have to leave. That's a shame. So they limit a public forum. They can limit the First Amendment uh, as far as... Uh, Time, space, and manner. So the time being in which they, uh, the hours of operation of life, right? Uh, the place being the area in, in, which, in the library in which they are uh, paperback doing something like in, in the manner of one available a fundraiser or a charity event, something along those lines where it's a private invite only. Okay, they can walk off a certain area like this area right here. They can have like a private event in this room. But if it's open to the public, Dandy Dan, how's it going? So that last time we did the live stream, I spoke with oh, that guy who was trying to say that Good morning, um, or he spoke afternoon. to constitutional attorney and that they're um, allowed to restrict, you can't record patrons, so. Uh, well, they're also uh, burning the First Amendment as well, besides the physical books. Particular, uh, which, which attorney that he spoke with, I left him my, my phone number and everything, and he never called me back because the real thing is, he wouldn't call me back because he didn't actually speak to a constitutional attorney. There's no constitutional attorney is going to tell you that. So AFA has two constitutional attorneys on retainer that he spoke with in regards to this. And uh, we are absolutely allowed to record the things we see in the So that's why we're here. Hey, ma'am, can you help us? we got some business here that we need to handle. Okay. Uh, so can I set this down first? Sure. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, so we are here. Uh, a couple things. Number one, we need to get a uh, touch base with you on our complaints that we filed last time. It's been several months. Nobody's emailed us back. Okay, um, I also, apologize for that. Um, I, I sent them up to the, the right people. I'm sorry that you haven't heard back. Were we here last time, or? I was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Can you maybe give them an email? But them ignoring us is just something. So no, we need to get I a resolution. Um, and also, we'd like to view your. Uh, the comprehensive uh, annual financial report, please, for okay. the city of London. For the city of London. Yes. For okay. the city Not or the library? Uh, library district for the city of London. Do you have that? Um, okay. I, 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 for the library. Get for the city of Monument, but are you asking for the library or for the city of Monument? Because they're two different things. We need both. We'd like to view both of the hard copies. Um, I can print them out for you. So that's well, the you don't have, for... we don't have a, but you're going to print it off the computer? I can print it off the computer. They're all, all the budgets. Um, well, I don't know for Monument, the city of Monument, but for our budget, it's one dollar. Okay. Because um, we don't have a hard copy. Because we like to look at the hard copy, therefore it can't be budged or anything like that. Yeah, we don't have a hard copy here, but I can print it off. Okay, okay. We'll, take the, we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. Um, and then I was talking to this guy up here in the, the long hair. Yeah. And he was kind of making a big deal about us being here and telling people to hide and stuff like that. So the, the, the patrons are going to follow the lead that you guys. So you guys might be happy. I like your demeanor so far. You guys make a big deal about us and all that. So yeah, that librarian guy right there, he came over here and told a mom that was sitting on a couch here with her children that there were people here with cameras and that they should uh, probably leave. Uh, apparently um, he is some kind of predator and has decided that 
certain mothers with children are worthy of him telling them they have to leave the library because there's lots of other children in here. So, story time. Finding nonfiction. The world of Dewey. This is what I'm talking about. The Dewey Decimal System. Sweet Tea Audit's feed is down. Sweet Tea, are you live? Because they're saying you're not. You're not live. Apparently she doesn't have service. Oh, even DMA's down. He's not live. He's not live. I am. I've, I have. I haven't had a stitch of issue. They're saying I'm the only one that's working fully. Okay. Well, then you better stay right here. You guys are on board with this, and you guys understand the law because we're going to obviously. This is our report. We're busy here. We're going to okay. continue to keep coming back until you guys have the You're good now. I must have been. It must have been delayed before. comments. Right. Anthony so, yeah. V says sure. everybody's good. So, do you, are you on board then now with the fact that we can record anything you can see? Well, I, I'm not on board with that because that, that's not our policy. But um, oh, okay. I, 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 I very much understand like, where you're coming from. Blurry, um, but still as, working. Um, okay. okay. Well, yeah, he's well, static recording as well. Right. And I think Michael will talk to a lot. Uh, did a really comprehensive interview where, where we stand. <coughs> right. And he was, he was, he's very intelligent, very well spoken, so he was manipulating us and just telling us that he spoke with constitutional terms and he didn't. And so, like so I said, we got clarification from our people, and that's why we're back. But um, your policy, man, uh, so like private institutions can create private uh, policies yeah. for their customers because they're private, they can do what they like. Right. But, public facilities like this one, they can have policy, but I'm not bound to that contract, so you guys are bound to that policy because you're employees here. Right. So even though you have a policy, you would like us to abide by that policy, by law, we don't have to abide by it. Right. Are you on board with that? As much as I can, yes. I'm still trying to learn the great, because it, I mean, this whole thing seems very great to me, so I, I am on board with what you're saying. Okay. okay. Well, it's Wonderful. not great, it's black and white, so the law is the law. Okay. Uh, but I do appreciate you at least being and servicing us because uh, Mary Nash and Athena, I don't know if you've seen the videos, but they were extremely rude to us. Do I have a mod in Ignoring here? us and denying us service. So we appreciate you. Your name is Jen. Jen uh, Gerd. Jean. Jean, sorry. Jean That's Gerd. all right. Our, what's your position here? Oh, I'm the branch manager. You are the branch. So you're like the in charge of this facility mm -hmm. here. Um, so are you above Mary Nash? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Leonard, Excellent. what's up? So, um, so are you the one that is? So yeah, I don't see one either. You send them to the I, I do, yeah. Let I mean, me know if things know. get stupid in here. The, and, uh, I'll it, handle that. To, um, we're part of a larger uh, library. Thanks, so Bokomo. I um, don't have any. Hey, Anthony. So does that go to Mike then? Check it out. Um, to Michael. Michael, sorry. Um, it, it depends on the nature of the complaint. Check it out, so Anthony. If it's something to do with circulation, it goes to a different person. Related to Hello, security, Tony. it would go to Michael. Okay. Well, who did you forward the article from? You know where um, I'm at with uh, from, what um, I want going on uh, in my chats, Tammy, Anthony. Um, sales, Thank you. Okay, so we got Tammy Sales. Does she have a business card or something like that that we could take with us? I, I'm, I will have to go look. Let me go look and see if sure. I have a business card. No problem. Right. Thank you. All right, guys, so we got some information, some good information. Uh, did you say Tammy Sales? I didn't quite Tammy catch Sales it. Tammy Sales is the one that handled our complaints uh, and ignored us. So uh, it seems as if they are. I also want to ask about Mary Nash and Athena, if they're still here or what disciplinary action yeah. was was given to them for how we were treated. So they right. called the cops on us for not breaking the law. So when she comes back, we're going to touch base on that too, guys. So thanks for coming in. Sorry about that buffering earlier. We, anytime we're on this side, um, we, the buffer is really bad. When we're on this side, we're good. So. What is that librarian's name that went up to that mother and told her to leave the library? We got to get his name. Yeah, uh, that was really inappropriate. Uh, but if you guys are just coming in, he, he came over and told this lady over here that uh, 
These this lady sitting on the couch. Are First Amendment auditors, and so uh, get your children and hide them or something. I don't know. I, oh, I'm he he told he told them they should probably leave. Oh, told them they should leave. That's yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah. help me up front either. So I, no. I apologize. I do not have business um, business card here. Um, I have. I don't know. Of course, I think you already have her information. Yeah. Um, and if you wouldn't mind, could you could we get your business card and then sure. can you just write down Tammy's. Name? I'd like to file a complaint. Can I file? Is there a process to file a complaint? Because I heard it and I watched it. I can get a comment card and you can fill that out. A comment card is the complaint process. Uh, okay, sure. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. Is so is Mary? Is she still employed here? Yes, she is. And what about Athena? She's still employed here. She is. Not here today. No, neither of them. Mary and Athena are the ones that. Uh, kept telling him they couldn't come back to this library. So he's asking if they're still in play here. And this woman's being very nice, very accommodating. They have not been disciplined. He's asking yeah, so if there was any action taken. So as far as I know that they were just doing what they're told, so maybe there's some disciplinary action that's, that's needed. But we would appreciate it if they could just be educated people, like you said, that if it is the policy, our policy is not law, so therefore we don't have to uh, abide by that. We would appreciate that. So yeah, no before next time someone comes in, um, or if we come in, if we, if we can't come to a resolution today, we'll have to come in again next time. Is that, is that something that you're able to have a conversation with them about? Um, I already have some of uh, that I will take with me. Okay, perfect. So thank you, ma'am. So mm -hmm. I guess we just need a different form for, did you guys want to file one too? Yes. So we'll just take five, five complaints, please. Okay. Right. What was the policy that you had in time for her remaining there, regarding this? I'm not going to discuss that with anybody else. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is she is she the branch manager? Everyone here in the chat for the CRC shout out. So of course we got the CT, this is her uh on here. We got Rocky Colorado IRL, some of you guys know him. I met him on the uh the incident where Grand Slam got shoved. So subscribe to him. Of course I'm here with big sister Regan. Learn the Dewey Decimal System. This is Rocky. I am I am all about um educating. I did. Uh, I homeschooled my children for a while, and uh, I think the library is a wonderful, uh, underutilized resource. I'm not sure we need the government to provide it to us because then you end up with things like this. So anyway, how are we doing in the chat, everybody? They have uh, they have one copy paperback of, of 1984, and I, I do want to find it. No cops so far today. Nope. Yeah, Melissa. So you've watched the videos, right? Yeah, that was intense stuff um, with them being here prior. So they're starting to uh, figure out, MLH, I think you got invited to this. How come you're not here? I saw you were in the group chat. Well, hello, Virginia. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah. 
like if you have at least most of you guys have already subscribed to the I want to get George Orwell's uh, paper copy in 1984. Let's see. I wonder what I would have to do. Oh, it's gone now. Here, let's pull it up again. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Can can you help me understand this copy of this paperback, 1984, by George Orwell? It said that there was one available. Does that mean it's here? No. Is that only? Is that where it's only available? That's the only library that is located at it right now. So, do you have any of these? series here at all it doesn't look like it it's no. a pretty popular book right um, so we, it doesn't look like we have a copy right now if it's popular how come you don't have it here monument that's an interpretation of the book so it's not actually the actual copy of it oh right here right this yeah. one oh yeah no i want the actual novel the so i guess that's that's good. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, I mean, so last time we were here, one of the times we were here, uh, the first time I came actually, uh, they printed out their, your policy you guys are speaking of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, first uh, law that you guys quote in your policy as far as that, um, yeah, that's the one. Of privacy is CRS 4-90-119, which is privacy of user records. So it says clear as day in the, uh, the CRS that a public a publicly supported library shall not disclose any record or other information that identifies a person as having requested or obtained specific materials or service or as otherwise having used in the library. So that's kind of like a HIPAA law, like we're not on the hook for that, you guys are. So okay. I think that, actually I know that that needs to be removed like, from your policy because you guys are using that as an excuse to keep people from recording, right? And you're also quoting Cats the US, which ironically is the same uh, case law that I use in regards to no expectation of privacy. So. Um, that, that situation because of the fact that uh, they, the Supreme Court ruled in that instance that uh, the, the Fourth Amendment applies to, in certain situations, people and not places, that now all of a sudden patrons have an expectation of privacy in public, and that's not true. And so, um, Cats in the U.S. is actually the law that I use in regards to no expectation of privacy in public. So, um, we're not in a, a phone booth using a, a telephone call, and the FBI is not tapping our, our line, right? It, it's different. So we're just in a public setting here. So okay. um, we're, that's it. And How's that? we want to forward on to tenant sales because that's another thing that we want to have accomplished before we put the monument library thing behind us. As I guess I need a uh, pen. Case law and uh, that CRS to be removed from your policy because we're not sure if you guys are misinterpreting it or what I believe is that you guys are using that as an excuse to violate people's rights. Okay. So yeah, if you would just mind forwarding that to tenant sales because uh, we also, like I said, we're going to keep coming back until we get that removed from the, your policy. Okay. okay. Yeah, and not up to me, but uh, I will pass it on to the I would people. appreciate that. We yeah. appreciate I need that. a pen. And then, I think the last thing we need from this point. I just need a pen to fill out this card. Did you get your card? Yeah, I got my card. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, she was rude. Oh, wow. Got on the phone. Couldn't give you any service. Do you have a pen that I could use? Oh, thank you very much. Your name's Christian, correct? Correct. Okay. Christian, that was really inappropriate what you did with that mother back there. And I'm gonna- Oh, I just wanna make sure that patrons have their privacy. How come you didn't tell everybody else that? Because you told that mom she should leave with her children and she did. You were back in the children. Area. No, we weren't. Oh. What you did was inappropriate and I'm gonna file a complaint. So I hope okay. someone responds because you had no business doing that. I'm just gonna post right here so I can write. Yeah, well, maybe I'll go sit down over here. We 
Express PC, so I can sit here for 15 minutes. Wonderful. dandy little uh, tripod that MLH purchased for me. Very nice when I know where it's at and I remember it. Thank you, MLH. Okay, here we go. We doing all right in the chat? We still got a mod in here. What did you think? Well, for starters, I think that little librarian was nice. What was her name? Can somebody tell me? Was somebody watching that? What was that librarian's name that was being so nice? Did you catch it? Jean? Was it Jean that was back there talking? I did not catch it. Okay. All right. Somebody will tell it to me here shortly. So I am at the um, Monument Library. Those are the list of libraries for the uh, Pikes Peak Library District. Time. Okay, name. I will give my name. Uh, today is the 27th at about 12.30. If you would like a personal response, please include your phone number and or email. I would. Draw a little. I'm just writing. Oh, hey, Ellie, you're here. Glad to see you. Well, so I said, Jean the librarian was wonderful. And I pointed an arrow to my cute little purpley hair girl with the long, pretty hair. And I said, purple is my favorite color. See, I've raised children. I know how important it is for them to have access to unbiased resources and libraries and librarians. I know this stuff. I just don't utilize the library much anymore. But when I would take my children to the library, if I ever saw somebody with a camera, I would say, Come here, kids. Let's watch and see what's going on. Right? That's how you create critical thinkers. If I really thought their physical safety was an issue, of course I'd leave the library. But see, I'm kind of smart that way. I can look at a situation and go, well, these people mean no harm. Let's see what they're doing. Children, let's watch. Maybe we can learn.
going to leave um, I'm going to leave my phone number and email address. Because say I was um, traveling down I-25, this library is on a very, very busy corridor. And say I was on the road homeschooling my children, like a lot of wonderful people are doing right now. And I wanted to pop in and utilize this library. Don't you think they should want to be on full display of what a good job they do? I certainly would think so. So anyway, there's my phone number. Here's my email. Fully filled out comment card. I expect, um, I, I would like a personal response. My phone number and my email is on here. And I wrote, Christian inappropriately and unwarranted, unwarranted. I get, well, let me change that wording. Unwarrantedly provoked a mother with children to leave the library because I was recording my interaction in a very public forum. He deliberately scared the mother and she ended up leaving appropriate in all caps exclamation mark. Because what if, for, say for instance, I was making a video teaching my children how to use the library. What if my children were sick and maybe they were out in the vehicle um, or my RV if I'm traveling the country and I'm homeschooling my children or whatever. I mean, maybe I just want to check out a damn library book and uh, my family's in the car and uh, I can, I have the capability to do a live stream or, you know, uh, FaceTime or whatever, and they want to be part of the process. Stop being afraid of cameras. Like, got them everywhere. So the fact that we have to do this in uh, 2022 uh, is um, quite archaic, but we knew uh, from Georgia Orwell a long time ago this was going to happen. And I can't even access even the library after she told me it was an incredibly popular book. That might be part of the reason I don't utilize the library anymore. Libraries are going to become extinct if they uh, keep this shit up. So anyway. Yeah, Melissa, right? Instilled fear in her for what? because somebody was potentially um, doing a FaceTime with their family, utilizing the library. Who knows what I was doing? He doesn't know. He didn't even ask. He just went over there and scared the shit out of her, so she left. Stupid. And shame on her. I mean, woman, really. You're gonna bring your kids into a public library? Think them, teach them to be uh, critical thinkers, please. Oh, yeah, look at this camera. That's right over the children's section as well. So what was your point, Christian? Are you filming children? What are you doing with the video footage? I should be asking you that. <sighs> wow. Wow. Moody, moody, moody. Did he call us 1A auditors? I can be whatever I want to be and come in here with my camera. I don't have to be a 1A auditor. I could come in here and do story time with y'all. You want to do story time via a live stream? We should be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's really, it's really um, 
They obviously finally got the correct legal advice and uh, said stop pushing this issue in your library. comment card. Want to see it? Yes. Yeah, so check that out. I drew a picture of Jean, a nice librarian. There we go. She was being really very kind. Ma'am, do I, do I give this to you? Or? Yeah, I can I take it. Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, I didn't take a copy of that. She would, she would be the one that I would want to come to if I brought my kids in here and said, hey, um, can you help me? So she was cool. How are we doing, everybody? Just hanging out in the library. I know this is kind of boring. But you and the librarian has been very, very nice. Oh, and very accommodating. So, how's it going? That's what I'm asking. Oh, is he? Okay. Okay. Check it out. Check it out. Comprehensive annual financial report. Let's go see what he's got. They gave him all those copies. These are First Amendment auditors, and they advise them to leave and take their kids to leave the library, making a big deal about our rights, guys. So I was wondering if you wanted to, are you going to fill this out and return it? I'm gonna keep mine, okay. Um, and I'm gonna so I have uh, I can return it next time because I told her to yeah. get you on camera. Salt Explorer, thanks, dude, for uh, joining the Bronze. I appreciate that, man. It's my third member. Awesome. Uh, so we told them. I told her that we want to get uh, the CRS that they have in their policy in regards to not recording patrons, which is user of privacy, privacy oh. of user records, which is like HIPAA, and they're on the hook for that, and it clearly states that. Yes. So we want to get that removed. They're also using Cats me US uh, as a reason to keep us from recording, which is ironic, because that's the same one that I use for no expectation of privacy in public, right? But they're they're trying to twist it because of the fact that the Supreme Court ruled that in that circumstance with Cats, that um, the Fourth Amendment applies to people, not places, that now patrons have an expectation of privacy in public life. Hmm. So, I don't know if, one, they're misinterpreting those laws, but really what I think it is, they're smart people. What they're doing is they're just using those laws as an excuse to violate our rights, which is unacceptable. Sure. So I told her she did at least admit that policy is not law and that uh, it's their policy for us not to record, but they're not going to call the police on us and yeah. they're going to allow us to record anything we can see here. So I feel like that's a win. That's a win. The only thing that I that I want to, before we call it quits on, on this is for them to remove this. Uh, well, first, we need a, a resolution on our complaints. And right. second, we need uh, we need to get that removed from their policy. And then after that, you want that removed? I want that removed. I'm not going to stop until they remove that that stuff from their policy. That's ridiculous. That's I told everyone uh, that, that uh, Jean did an excellent job, the branch manager. And here is so here is so she is the branch she's manager. The branch. She's above Mary Nash. Oh, okay. And this is Tammy Sales, guys, um, and this is the person that the. Uh, our complaints went to they got completely ignored so tammy okay. sales 719-531-6333 extension 6098 yeah my focus is so really bad if you don't 
uh, we're not advising anyone to call, but that number is out there, guys. So if anyone does decide to call on their own accord, you can tell uh, them that Jean did a great job, the branch manager. Yes, she and did. And you can also tell them that that we still need to get you know the case law out of there and that that policy of CRS that they have out of there. Um, so let me just tell your this viewers is real, real quick. This real activism. Let me tell your viewers real quick the, the, the CRS that they're using. They're using CRS 24-90-119. Get a shot of that, which is privacy of user records. And the library is on the hook for that, guys, not us as the citizens. It's like it's like HIPAA. Right. So they are on the hook for that. And they're using this as an excuse to keep us from reporting. Yeah, that's That's nonsense. like the police officer saying, you can't report in this intersection because there's an ambulance over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's not gonna fly. So we need to get that changed out of their policy. And also Christian uh, is the individual who came over here and made a big deal about us reporting, saying that these are First Amendment auditors and I advise you and your children to leave, mm -hmm. to leave the public library uh, because we have cameras in here, guys. So, and again, you guys know how we roll. We're not over here recording kids and stuff like that. And uh, even in the, the chat, chatio live visit, dude, we weren't recording kids. Mm -hmm. I went in there and I put my camera straight on him. He's the one that acted stupid. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, again, guys, kids get recorded just as much as adults every time they leave their house. Right. right? Can so. I make a point about this camera yeah. over here that's pointing on the kids section? Oh, okay. I'd like to know maybe what the library is doing with that stored footage. I mean, does Christian have access to yeah. that stored footage? Yeah, they, it should be uh, stated when it should be and destroyed and who has access to uh -huh. it. Because they can't keep it forever. It has to be destroyed. I find that a little bit disturbing. Oh, excuse us. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. You get out of your way. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, guys, that's how I always say, guys, to the librarians, they set the entire tone for the entire interaction, right? You see how Gene is over here being cool and not making a big deal? And see all the patrons in here? Totally cool. This lady right here is just nice to us, right? That's how it goes, like uh, Belmar Library, the original Belmar Library video, guys, with Joanna. Remember, they were like all in my face and blocking my camera Thank you, and MD. hollering at me. Well, when when, uh, when the patrons see that behavior, guys, and they just think, well, well that's acceptable. Now we can start doing that. That's right? right. And it turns into a mob mentality against me. Like, I got people chasing me around. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again, guys, the, the library, oh, wow. Or, what is that? Oh, it's, uh, uh, this is so many cool things happen in a public library. Wow. Now, what if I wanted to make a video of what they were doing so, and teach my children that? We've been here for about 40 minutes. So what do you think, guys? Should totally up to you. Should we call this a win and a pass? I think it was a huge win. Okay. So we can't go out that way? Okay. I think Bryce says emergency exit. Right. Okay. I filled out my comment card on Christian, and I went okay. and told him that I thought what he did was inappropriate. Yeah. And uh, he said, but you were over there in the children's section. I said, so why does that warrant you scaring a mother to leave the library? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. He told a woman with children to leave because we're exercising our protected activity here. The librarian, Christian, he's up there at the front desk with the long hair. What are you guys doing? We're just doing a little bit of research and a documentary and uh, following up on some issues about uh, being able to exercise your First Amendment in the library. So, pretty simple. I loved the library when my kids were little. Yeah, oh, gosh, yeah. I just, I'm a teacher, so I hear, like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank yeah, you for cool. asking. Hmm. That woman is a teacher in here with her children, and she wanted to know why we were in the past told to leave, or why this librarian, Christian, decided to tell the mother uh, to leave the library. She's I wanted to just apologize to you, Diane, for last time. I didn't pass along. Okay. Wow. So what happened was, 
uh, that was rude. We had thought that she flipped us off, mm -hmm. and so we made an error. And so I did. I did mention that in the last video that I published mm -hmm. that we made a mistake because it was on a live stream. It was very blurry. She was going like this, pointing at her glasses or something. I don't know, it but it looked like fingers. it looked like a middle finger. Oh yeah, both fingers like this, but it looked like a flip off. So I just wanted to apologize to her uh, oh, for that because we were mistaken, yeah. and we're not here to make people look bad and, and fabricate things. We're here to just be honest, and truthful, right, and transparent. So I if you could report to her that we we're our mistake and our bad, we apologize. She was actually the only one at the library that day that did a good job. Yes, the only we one. wanted so to we make sure she knew. Diana, we appreciate you and my viewers. Uh, I had over 300 people in the chat today. They said you did great. And so uh, you've been getting praise too. So thank you, Jean. Mm -hmm. Ladies, have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Okay, bye. Thanks, Jean. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So that's how it's done. That's how you affect change in your community. Right? Thank you. Is, uh, you don't back down. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> okay. How was that? <laughs> hey, whoever put those super chat in there, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Yeah, so this library is in a strip mall. Look at where it says here, security cameras in use for safety. You can't you can't protect yourself in here. So open no open carry means you conceal carry it. Obey the law. No nicotine use of any kind on the property. Shoes and shirts required. Yeah, but most importantly, for your safety. For your safety. Wow. How do we know that? I really want to know what they do with that camera footage that they're storing in the children's section. Yeah. I mean, if that's such a horrible thing that we're in there. Yeah. With our cameras, yeah. I wonder if anybody's got multiple cameras pointing to it. Yeah, and it's not like there's never been predators employed by government before that have actually been prosecuted for crimes against children. Right. Christian seemed a little—I don't know—he didn't feel right. And since well, we're the feelings said to me, police, said to me was, you guys have been suspended, so we're, you are trespassing. People, as we're trespassing right away. What a we're fool! Not suspended. What a fool. He should be fired. He should be fired, truly. Instilling that kind of panic in that mom yeah. and shit. How ridiculous. She, oh, yeah, she left within two minutes. So we're probably going to have to come back again. Yeah. Because that's not a Brother Harem. That's not a pass. Good job, that's you guys. Christian caused the fail. Yep, Christian did. I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to go back in there and tell you that we're going to have to uh, That's the reason why it's not a pass. It was a half pass. Yeah, those kids are just enjoying their time in the library. Yeah, blame Christian for that. That's right. Well, I didn't hear him immediately tell them that they were trespassed and they weren't allowed to come in the library. I stopped when I went in. Oh, he's behind you, actually. Hey. That's Christian. He should, he should be fired for that. He really yeah. should. He should not have said that. Nope. Okay, so, but I'm back now. I just switched over. Someone coming in behind you. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't see a 
Sorry about that. Wow, nobody freaked out. Nobody freaked out over a camera today. All these people in a public area, and nobody has told us they're going to kick our ass, tried to get in our face. <laughs> it's very interesting, isn't it? The government government creates that hostility and then people want to replicate it exactly. that's what i'm talking about all the time with the homeless they see government doing it to the homeless so they do it too yeah they mimic yes monkey see, monkey do. perpetuators of violence wild I'm still live. Is anybody live? I turned mine off. Did you? I, this phone is like four years old, and it is so reliable. I are you using the S20? I have no idea. Hell, See, I got the, I got a brand new. IPhone My iPhone's 13. horrible. And the reason why? Oh, what phone is that? One? This is this is a 12 Pro. Oh, well, it is iPhone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this one. This oh, one is my Android. Oh, that's the that's Android running. Yes. Yes. Doctor's an iPhone guy, so I don't want to switch. Yeah, I am too. And I, I don't like the Android, but this phone is the bomb. That's what we call it. <laughs> I love it. It's cool. I just, I can't. I started out with iPhones, and I just cannot adapt. I, I, I switched to iPhones when I worked for Apple. I worked for Apple for five years. Okay. So I went everything I, I everything Apple. Okay. So I got an iPhone. I got the Apple TV. They gave us iMacs, you know, to work. Nice. I had an iPad. So everything Apple, because that's what I was supporting. Right. And so, and then I left Apple. How come you left? I, um, Can I ask? I left because the one-on-ones -on -one with your manager. Oh. Okay. You know, to see, so they did how you're doing. Oh, okay. So during our one on ones, we would, you know, just break the ice, you'd get comfortable with them, you would talk about your everyday life. Yeah. And talk about business. Yeah. So I was going to buy a new car. So I told her, hey, you know, I'm getting ready to buy a new car, and you know, that's what's going on with me. Uh huh. She's like, oh, well, when you buy a new car, here's some things to look for. Check this, you know, with the car and go to this website. I'm like, oh, okay. And she, like, she went to a website and sent me a link. Uh huh. Right? Because we're over chat because I work from home. Okay. And so I went to the link uh -huh. right, that she just sent me. And then maybe a on, month later, she. Oh, we're just waiting for sweet oh. About a month later, she um, she did a review and she's like, well, you guys, you were using a computer for unauthorized stuff. I'm like, what stuff? Oh, are you come looking for your on. Car? I'm like, the link that you sent me? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah, let's have. Let's get into your personal life oh so we can find God. reasons to fire you. Right. So I'm like, you know what? Wow. That was shit. Was that through COVID? No, no. This no. Was before. This was like 2014. Uh, okay. And so, so I couldn't log in one day. And I'm like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> so then she called me in there. And then to tell you, her, you were fired? Her and another manager in HR, so I knew. Come right. on. Well, we recorded you, and I'm like, what do you mean you recorded us? Well, you were, we recorded you, and you were not on the phone when you were supposed to be on this day. And so, because I've been in a call center like that for many years, I know how everything works. So right. Records. Right. So, and, and Apple, the good thing about Apple was they would give you time off the phone. It was all over the phone. They'd give you time off the phone for training, and they would give you what's called offline time. Uh-huh. Was, uh, an hour, an hour of offline time, and that was used to catch up on your on your emails and things like that. Because it's hard to do that if you're getting back-to-back -back calls. It's hard to see any kind of emails that you're getting and read your emails. Right. So they give you offline time, so you can do emails and catch up on training and you know anything you need to do. And they use that against and you. They use, and, well, and she was wrong. So she's like, Wednesday, the 31st, you were offline for an hour, not taking calls. And I'm like. 
first of all, so and, and she's telling me this, and I'm you know looking at my notes. Right. I'm looking at my notes, and I'm like trying to save your job from people that are intent on like, firing you. First of you. all, Wednesday was the 30th, not the 31st. And second of all, that hour I was on offline time, and I you know copy right, paste. Oh, uh, we gotta move over here. Copy and paste my schedule, and I sent it to her. She's like, wind is oh. whipping. She's like, oh, well, uh, you should use that time wisely. I'm like. It's offline time. So they dug. Offline they dug for I reasons to fire you. I don't need to take phone calls during offline time. <sighs> Back then I was big in martial arts, so I was like stretching and doing push-ups uh, before class. And the joys of employment. So I was like, yeah, it's time for me to go. Look at the beautiful so, bright sky. We're still, still live. Can I tell your view or something? Yeah, tell them. So em. we went back in there. I, I went back in there and spoke with Gene uh, because we talked it over and we decided that it, although Gene did a great job, it was not a pass. And we have, you guys know how I roll, I have to keep going back until they get a pass. Otherwise, I'll come back forever. And because of Christian telling the patron that he advises her to get her children and leave the library because we're there, that's a fail. That's yeah. unacceptable. So now I told her, we're going to have, because of that, ma'am, we're going to have to make another unannounced visit. And you could tell the look on her face, we teed oh. on it on camera. She was so <laughs> disappointed because you could tell she really wanted to do a good job and be done with this so that she could say, look, we did it. They're not coming back. And I told him, you need to have a, a, a conversation with Christian. You can't do that. And so I said, we'll be back and hold on. We've got the right of way. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, it is. Uh, There's so. Regan. That's right. <laughs> so this is probably, this and probably I did the, it without saying fuck. It's probably the first time you've ever seen Regan. Uh, that's not time. true. <laughs> that is the shit. That ain't true. Yeah. I've had this channel since 2011. You see me out there kissing ass for the first five years of trying to beg oh, government really? to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah I'm fucking over it. Yeah. I, I did. Know, I did a good job today. No, just because great. I know how to do this shit, and I respect what you're doing because yeah. this is real activism. Absolutely. Yeah. I know how to get shit done when it's time to get shit done. I'm not out there asking government for permission. I'm not out there trying to change government's mind. I'm over that. Remember, I'm a lot older than all y'alls. I think you and Sweet Shoe are the same age. Close to it. Yeah, well, her and I are closer in age than you. You're just a youngin'. And I love your, I love your perseverance and your education pieces, and I'm glad that you're doing it. And I respect it, and I want to support it. Thank you. So, because that is how you will affect change. You're affecting change here in this library. You are. Yeah. And like I was telling my viewers on the side, you know what? When my kids were little, like that woman with her children, I would want them to be able to see this. If this, if cameras were a thing when I took my kids to the library and I saw you guys come in, I would immediately go, okay, they're not a threat to my children. Here, boys, come here. Let's watch this. Yeah, let's see yeah. what we can learn from this. I would have too. So, but that's gone. That shit is gone. People are teaching their kids how to obey government, period. They're not teaching them how to think. So, I, I applaud you. Thank you. So, I'm just older. My kids are grown. I just uh, kind of don't give a fuck with trying to beg for permission or ask I, I'm just kind of over it, but all right, y'all. So that's that. I'm gonna go over to my car. What are we doing? Hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. We're gonna eat in there. Yeah, we're gonna eat. Right there or no? Okay. All right. I'm gonna sit in my car for just a second. Okay. So I gotta check a couple messages. Go get a table. All right. Let me go get us a table. You guys got to give that up, because that's going to happen. You can't be out in public and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I got to sit here for just a minute. I want to catch up with everyone. Check a couple messages. Turn my air conditioning on. How did we do? Yeah, I just, you know what? I, I really, I did, I have a lot of respect for the education piece of it all. But like I said, I'm just, uh, 
when the rubber meets the road and you want to talk about where you're going to meet a tyrant that's going to either kill you or or let you live that's what we're dealing with when we're dealing with the homeless population okay so I, I don't beg government for permission anymore I never really did it just took me a while to get there and I always wanted to advocate you know you just you should be so nice and you should really display yourself as the suburban mommy that you are and and I did all that I did all that if I wanted to go into that damn library and sit there and watch whatever I wanted to on that computer. I could do that. If I wanted to go in there and make a video, I could do that. Right? So, I just, I guess it has to do with patience. So, how much time are you willing to invest into your cause? I, I, I love what Denver Metro Audits is doing. Uh, we're able to work on some things together. I, I wanted to support all of them because Sweet Tea, uh, had quite an ugly confrontation with the cops initially here. I That shit really pisses me off. So, uh, yeah, call the cops on me. Bring them. Bring them. Because you're going to hear a lot of F-bombs if you do. If I got to if I gotta go out of that library and fight with a cop, do some uh, verbal judo, fine. We'll do it. Um, but it's obvious he's making progress. So this is good. So I, wa I want to support that. When it's, when it's time, there, there's a time and place for me everywhere I go. And if, 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 I had a, if I had a problem with getting rowdy everywhere, I wouldn't be anywhere in public. <laughs> I know when duty calls. Let's just say that. I know when duty calls. Yeah, surely she was by herself that day. And I don't like that shit. Because that's... I mean, look, she should be able to go out there by herself. What I'm talking that I don't like is that the cops show up again and think they can bully a woman. Uh, I'll tell you what, if that would have happened to me that day, I wouldn't have left. But I don't expect anybody to do anything different. I, I do me. You do you. I'll support you when the right time comes. It's, it's that simple. So, at any rate, that went well. That librarian was really nice. She, she, was, she was a very sweet woman. And she obviously took her job serious. Uh, she knows why she signed up to be a librarian to begin with. That's great. I, I, I would, if I was in this area and I needed a library, I'd go back in there. And I'd say I had a great interaction with Jean and I think she could help me and if my children had a question or if I had a question I'd, I'd feel comfortable with her. Now the other ones they've proven nothing. They've proven that they're not that great. So whatever influence Jean has over the employment process and if she's uh, required to report to people about her staff and what they're doing she's got to be able to have some discretion in how she can deal with her staff. It's that simple. But we've made everything so goddamn complicated. You gotta beg the beggar who then begs the beggar that begged the beggar to begin with. I'm just I'm done with the government bullshit. So And I don't use the library much anymore. On occasion, I do. We haven't had any problems at the Inglewood Library. They've been fantastic, except for that time, back in December, when MLH and I went in there and uh, we wouldn't wear a mask. So the cops got called. Uh, Inglewood cops handled it well. Then I couldn't get the body cam footage, and then I ended up going down a damn rabbit hole, and now look at, now look at us in Inglewood again. Look at that shit. Look where we're at. <laughs> I'm pretty passionate about that. But I could tackle it by myself. But DMA came and saved the day. Poor Jeremy. Poor Jeremy, the little allied security guard. Somebody is on that thread just going off on me about how mean I was to Jeremy. Well, listen up, mother to Jeremy. When you're acting like a little tyrant and you come there with a gun and, you, and you're telling women that you're going to put their, your hands on them and escort them out of the courtroom, yeah, you're going you're gonna to see uh, 
you're going to see some shit go down. And I told that woman, or whoever this is, she claims to be a mother of two, Jeremy's lucky he's meeting me and not somebody with more powerful reciprocation because the citizenry is sick of that shit. And one of these times, you're going to meet your match. So why don't you educate Jeremy if you care so much for him instead of focusing on me hurting his poor tender feelings? Then they accused me of throwing a water bottle at him. All this bullshit. People are so stupid on YouTube sometimes, I swear. It's like they watch the video and they don't watch it. <laughs> they watch the video and they come up with their own scenario of what happened with what they saw with their own two eyes. It didn't happen. I threw a piece of paper on the ground <laughs> and I told him to pick it up like a good little dog because he's an order follower. I wanted him to follow my orders. He was ordered to put his hands on me. He chose not to. That was a very good move. Only after I told him and that clerk that if they put their hands on me, shit was gonna get super real. So I think they decided it probably wasn't a good idea to put their hands on me. But had I not been that person, he would have put his hands on somebody. So I don't have an ounce of sympathy for that little fucker. Jeremiah, well, thank you. I, I'm a great help. Oh, oh, you're talking to Ellie. She's a great help. I don't, I watch all the time, but don't comment much. Well, join us, please. When you have time, you could do that. We love to have good dialogue in here. At least he didn't meet my number 13 personality. She even scares me. <laughs> That's, yeah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I'm solid. Let's just say, I'm solid. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I do have a couple things I'm going to respond to here. Um, I'm going to go sit down with them and enjoy a meal and some good conversation and uh, get on with the rest of my day because this is awesome. I can uh, get a couple more things done that I didn't think I could do. And uh, one of them is my mother and her 15 month old son. So stay tuned. Uh, that's not going the way it should go. And so we're going to be talking about that very soon because this is some deep shit that we need to have some real conversations about. About why it's illegal to be homeless with a child being charged with child abuse and then told figure it out no sorry Lakewood PD not going to work like that so stay tuned for that that's going to get interesting Scottish Furry Freedom hello I'm going to end this stream right now thank you for popping in it was good to see you go back and watch we did an audit today at the Monument Library I came to support Denver Metro Audits and Sweet Tea on this mission they're very passionate so and uh, we've been working well together. The people love it. They love to see what we're doing. That's great. That's great. So give to my nonprofit. Thank you all very, very much. Boko Mo. Mwah. Peace.